<laughs> Welcome back everybody to 31 1990s horror movies for Halloween, where I'm checking out my favorite horror movies from the 1990s. At number 19, we're paying tribute to Peter Jackson, the creator of The Lord of the Rings, and our number 19 pick, Dead Alive. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings is a fantastic trilogy. It is loved by so many people. It is an incredible accomplishment in film, but I love telling people about Peter Jackson's earlier movies because I get a kick out of it. People see Lord of the Rings and they see one of the greatest trilogies ever made. It, it, it's, like I said, it's absolutely fantastic. But Peter Jackson got his start making gory horror movies or gory puppet movies. Bad Taste, Meet the Feebles, Dead Alive. These were Peter Jackson's three earliest films and they're all great in a raunchy, bloody way. Dead Alive is a zombie movie, and you all know how I've been zombied out over the years, and I'm always looking for something different when it comes to the zombie genre. Dead Alive is something different when it comes to the zombie genre. It's a horror comedy. It's a splat-stick kind of movie, mixing slapstick with gore. It's, it's this amazing mix of using gore for gags and kind of this cartoony gore throughout the film. It, it's so much fun. It, it's not afraid to be silly. It's, it's one of those movies that knows exactly what it is. Um, you have this guy whose grandma gets bitten by a monkey rat. That's right, you heard it, a monkey rat. And the monkey rat gives her a disease that turns her into a zombie. <laughs> and then zombieism gets spread throughout the population and, and all hell breaks loose. That's really all you have to say about this movie. But I just love how this movie isn't afraid to be crazy. I love how this movie isn't afraid to be silly with its bloodshed. I mean, it goes all out wacky at points. You have a priest in this movie that does kung fu. <laughs> I kick ass for the Lord! I kick ass for the Lord. That's one of the greatest one-liners in a movie. I, more people need to be saying that out loud numerous times. If more priests said, I kick ass for the Lord, I would probably actually go to church. There's this disgusting dinner scene. It's a great dinner scene, but it's disgusting. You know, they have this dinner scene and the guy's trying to make his mom look like she's not dead. They start serving pudding and you see ears fall into the pudding and pus shoot across, falling into someone's pudding. It's so disgusting, but in the best way. It, the whole movie leads to the third act of the movie, which is just this one long gore sequence. I mean, the gore in this scene rivals any gore scene that you will see in movies. And it's not just, like, like it just, it's non-stop. It's just like gore effect after gore effect after gore effect after gore effect. Not just gore effect after a gore effect, but cartoony gore effect after cartoony gore effect. I almost forgot to talk about the baby. There's a zombie baby in this movie, and there's a fight sequence with the zombie baby. It's one of the most ridiculous scenes you'll ever see. Funny as hell. I... Oh, God. It, it, just look. But the blood gets everywhere. Going back to the third act, there gets there's this one moment where our main character gets a lawnmower and starts charging through these zombies, and you see blood, limbs, and organs flying everywhere. It is an amazing scene. But it doesn't stop there. You see entrails taking on a mind of their own. You see fists going through people's faces. Like the, the, the gore in this movie and the gore effects in this movie are so unique, so crazy. It just, it just doesn't stop. It's non-stop comedic bloodshed. It does eventually lead to this uh, 
sort of monster fight, which is still very entertaining, uh, but you still, but the standout is still this whole third act before we get to that monster sequence. Just, just serious. I can't stress enough the amount of blood in this third act. I will say this very openly, in terms of gore, it puts the Evil Dead movies to shame. It puts so many movies to, sh to shame in terms of gore and gallons and gallons of blood. Help! Help! I can't imagine having to clean that shit up afterwards. I mean, my god, there, there are body parts everywhere in this scene. Uh, Dead Alive, I'm gonna say it, Dead Alive is a masterpiece. It, it may not make my top 10 in terms of 1990s, but that's just because there's so many other great movies that I love. But Dead Alive is a masterpiece. I don't care what anyone says, it is one of the greatest zombie movies ever made. Dead Alive is the <laughs> goriest movie ever made. Most of you, I guarantee, have already seen it, but if you have not seen it, you need to do yourself a favor and watch it this Halloween. If you are a gore fan, if you want a gory, gory movie, pop in Dead Alive. The majority of you know what I'm talking about, but if you have not seen Dead Alive, watch Dead Alive. Made by the same director that made Lord of the Rings. I always get a kick out of that. So, yes, uh... If you enjoyed Peter Jackson's masterpiece, which is the Lord of the Rings trilogy, watch his other masterpiece, which is Dead Alive. <laughs> and I'm being 100% serious about that.